Now we're going to look at a Poisson distribution uh, uh, example or two. It's Poisson, not poison. I know you might think that it's poison, but I'm about to show you how easy these are. The file that I am going to show you will be available uh, at, at my StatCave blog or website uh, for you to download. Uh, the Poisson distribution. Now we had been looking at the binomial distribution, but the Poisson distribution is a situation where we have a number of events occurring within a time interval or space with a given mean, uh, like the number of phone calls coming into an emergency room in a one hour period that normally averages seven per hour. So my mean would be seven. And that's the only number that I need. Let's look at uh, some questions. Let's say, find the mean variance and standard deviation of the Poisson distribution with a mean of five. It's kind of a silly question when, when I tell you the answer to it. Uh, here's another one. Janet, on average, makes an average of five errors per age when writing her rough drafts. In other words, mean, and the mean is five. Uh, given that X has a Poisson distribution of a mean of 0.5, find the following. Are any of these unusual? So let's take a look. First of all, I'm going to show you my Poisson distribution calculator. First of all, you will notice that my Poisson distribution calculator looks very similar to my binomial. However, I only have to input one number, and that number is the mean. Um, so you put it in, it does the rest. Now, like I said, I will upload this file to my StatCave website. Um, do not mess around with anything other than inputting your mean. Let's look at that first question. Here is my first question. Find the mean, variance, and standard deviation of the Poisson distribution with a mean of 5. Change my mean to 5, and you will notice that you already have the mean. The mean is 5 with the Poisson distribution. The mean is and the variance are the same. So the mean is 5, the variance is 5. The standard deviation is simply the square root of 5, which in this case is 2.236 rounded to three decimal places. So with a Poisson distribution mean of 5, you have the mean and variance. It's both 5. Take the square root of the mean and variance, in this case of, of the variance, and you get 2.236. It's really that easy. Let's look at this question. Janet, on average, makes an average of five errors per page when writing her rough drafts. In other words, the mean equals five. All right, I've already got that in there from the previous problem. Find the probability she makes exactly six errors. Right there, 0.1462. Find the probability she makes four or more errors. That's at least four, four or more. Probability of four or more is 0.735 to the right of four under at least. Find the probability she makes less than four, five errors or no more than four. So less than uh, five would be at most four, which is 0 0.4405. It's really that easy. Finally, let's look at this question. Given that a Poisson distribution with a mean of 0.5, find the following. I've got to change the mean to 0 0.5. Hit the Enter button. What is the probability of exactly 2? Well, it's 0 0.0758 to the right of 2 under exactly, greater than or equal to 4. That's at least 4 which is 0 0.0018, okay? What is the probability that x is less than 4? That is uh, at most 3, which is 0.9982. Are any of these unusual? Let's, let's look at this again, probability of exactly 2. No, that's greater than 0 0.05. That's not unusual exactly two, four or more is at least four. Yep, 0 0.0018. The probability in this case that x is greater than or equal to four would be unusual because 0 0.0018 
is less than 5% or less than 0 0.05. How about this one? Uh, at most, 3. Uh, point no, no, that's not unusual. But we did have an unusual value. Hopefully you'll find this uh, Poisson distribution calculator very helpful.